also not how I wanted to start the video. Yeah, um, that happened. Okay, so I got to drive this Spartan, I got to crash it into a tree several times, and finally roll it on its side. What is my thoughts? Oh, I didn't get to fire the guns. I didn't get quite get out of the armistice zone. Kind of the armistice zone on my protectors big. Um, but they are size 2 Gatling turrets, so I would presume they'll obviously yeah, do some damage to anything that's a small fighter or whatever it may be. Maybe some turrets or something like that, but I wouldn't go expecting to, to take on a Carrick, for example, with them. Maybe just, you know, give them a few passing glances as they go past and give them a few sort of like, uh, hey, we're here, and, you know, we will fight back sort of thing. But at the end of the day, it's mostly going to be for fighters, as I sort of understand it. The ship itself, or the vehicle itself, is is great. It's very well done. Um, I don't, I didn't know how to get into the turret. It seems to be slave to the seats at the moment. So maybe that's because you can't access the turret or something. I'm not quite sure. I couldn't find a way into the turret, so I'm guessing it's just slaved. It, Harry, it carries eight men. And it basically does what it sounds like it's going to do. It's an NPC, you know, ATI, you know, trip transport, whatever you want to call um, obviously, at the end of the day, that's the reason for it. It's there to say, hey, i got eight men. I want to drop them off in a battle zone. Maybe there might be aircraft turrets or anything around. So we're going to go in by vehicle. And obviously, it goes in. And it's pretty fast, too. I don't think it's going to outrun, like, a, a plane or anything. But it certainly does move. It's pretty robust, besides, obviously, turning on its side. Um, but at the end of the day, apart from the, the whole flipping it on its side thing, it, it was pretty robust. I hit a few trees every now and then, um, you know, obviously for testing purposes. Um, not a bad driver at all, I swear. But at the end of the day, it does what it says it does. It has eight jump seats, it has weapons locker, it has obviously remote turrets. It also has a whole bunch of components and stuff in there for obviously when physicalized components come on. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's an AV, ATI, or Advanced Troop Carrier, ATC, whatever. Um, so at the end of the day, if you're interested in that sort of gameplay, then obviously, great, it's there. If you're not into that sort of gameplay, LTI token is basically all I'm going to say. Um, at the end of the day, it does come with, obviously, lifetime insurance, which is obviously great for an LTI token. Um, and at the end of the day, it is a pretty decent price for, I think it's about $65. Um, yeah, $65 US. Um, or $80 if you're using uh, standalone in-game credits. Or, uh, like, game credits. Like, yeah, account credits. You can obviously go through and get some packs. There are several different paints that are available. Um, but like I say, guys, it's basically, it's an LTI token for anyone that doesn't want an ATV. Advanced troop V. Cool. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, it, it is what it is. It does what it says it's going to do, and yeah, it moves if it, it does well. Um, they've done a good job on it. It's just... I, I don't know if I have a use for it, besides an LTI token. Um, you know, I've jokingly turned around in the video that I put up yesterday, and by the way, guys, thanks for the views on that. I basically joked yesterday saying that I wanted to buy the Odyssey, so, I'm going to need LTI for that, maybe? Oh, actually, it might have come with LTI. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, we'll obviously have to see. But at the moment, this is what this is. It's an LTI token. And if you do want other ships... Say you want to buy a Carrick, for example. And obviously, you have a choice of going through and buying the Carrick from here. But... Obviously, if you do buy it, I think it only comes with 10 years insurance, which you'll you'll get the standard argument of it's virtually LTI. It's LTI or not LTI, boys. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, if you were to buy this and then CCU this to a Carrick, you would then keep the LTI for your Carrick, for example. Or as I like to call it, the Carrick. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, guys, um, at the end of the day, the Spartan, look, it looks good. I'm not knocking it. It's just, I don't know if it's my sort of thing. Uh, where's the carrot? Uh, say to go the Valkyrie. What's the buying options for the Valk? 
Um, so it comes 120 months. So yeah, so 10 years insurance. So I know you'll have the standard. It's it's LGI practically. It's like saying a, a knockoff of a Van Gogh is technically a Van Gogh, but it's not really, is it? So at the end of the day, if you do want the LTI and you do want to up it, CCU it to another ship, obviously you will get that $65 gift back, obviously, when you upgrade. So, for example, the Valkyrie would be 315 or 310 for example. And that will allow you to upgrade to the Valkyrie, for example, and keep it as LTI. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. As for the as for the spun, it is what it is. LTI token or a troop transport. I'm not saying troop transport won't be available in the future, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm more interested in the Odyssey. Let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Obviously, this video has been helpful. Please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy Star Citizen and the IAE.